What do you need to know about this week ahead? Hi, I'm Claire Stone and this is your weekly Angel and Tarot Psychic Guidance. Today is Sunday the 23rd of May and today I am reading for you with Radley Valentine, Angel Tarot and a cheeky one from Kyle Gray's Angel Guide Oracle. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and see what the cards have got in store for this week. Okay, so starting off with, first card is the Four of Cups, and this card is about your perception. It's saying that something that is being offered to you, it might not seem very tempting at first, however, you might not you might be missing the point, you might be missing part of the puzzle to see what opportunities can be gained from what is being offered. So when this card comes out, it means if you are given an opportunity, then before you just turn it away, just reflect, take some time, because what this card is actually speaking about is emotional satisfaction. So when we are not in a place where we are totally satisfied within ourselves we can take that to be our external circumstances our jobs and people around us we can sometimes project our uh, sense of unfulfillment upon them where in reality inner peace and contentment and fulfillment comes from within it comes from meditation and knowing that knowing your place in the world so to speak so this card is asking you to search for that cup, what is going to quench your spiritual thirst and don't be too hasty to turn things away. If you are feeling totally lost and bored in the world, then go and try some new things. You never know, uh, some new hobbies, something that you've always fancied doing. Get yourself out there and see what you will, what you will find, what will bring you that happiness and joy. So that is the first card, Four of Cups. And midweek we have got, oh, we've got Archangel Ariel coming in. And Ariel is the lioness of the goddess. And her name also translates to half. And that is the word that she's popping into my mind, half. So half represents your home, doesn't it? So it's where your the fire of your home and I'm perceiving that to be that kundalini fire within your body is the home for your soul while we are having this earthly incarnation and so Ariel is talking about again it's fitting so nice with that four of cups card what can you do to stop that inner flame your home is an extension of your auric field so you could go into someone's house and read it um, because all the energy is stored there. I'm feeling like it's time to look at your home, have a clear out, maybe change things around a bit to, um, you know, colours affect, the, there are vibration, they affect our mood. Get some, feels like getting some nice warm colours, some lovely orange and red to make you feel a bit more inspired a bit more courageous to go and do something a little bit different but it's that hearth and i feel that you're if you do have a family and uh, you live with people it feels like draw on that for your sense of contentment it, it's as if uh, if this applies to you if you do have a family then there's there's more to be gained from them than you could ever get from external things such as career. So it's about being with, with those that you love. That's what I'm trying to say. Being with those that you love to fan the flames of self-worth, feeling that place and feeling at home in the world. Oh my God, you're not going to believe this. I've only just looked at the tarot card that I shuffled and turned over and it's the four of wands. Can you believe that? That is that that is the card. <laughs> Contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life. This is the house moving card. It's the if the card comes out, it's usually the person who you're reading for, they get an extension built or they're decorating. But this is and you see that big 
uh, ball of fire with a dragon inside. This is Ariel definitely confirming what I've just said. So midweek, contentment, feeling happy at home, feeling settled at home. And we could all do with those feelings of feeling settled, couldn't we right now? There's so much uncertainty in the world, but these energies are coming in, draw them in. Call on Ariel to draw them in through the root chakra, that uh, sense of security, but also I'm feeling with the solar plexus as well, because this is a lovely um, dragon fireball, like the sun energy coming in to just feel that, that inner peace and contentment with those that we love. Woo, love some of that. Okay, end of the week. Thank you, Ariel. Okay, seven of the, seven. Seven of Wands for the end of the week. And this card says, defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. This is a heads up card. It doesn't mean it's always gonna happen. What it's telling you when it comes out is if, if there's some area of conflict, then avoid it. Take the path of least resistance. If there is people at work arguing or family members arguing or a gang of friends, anybody at all, if you get involved, you're going to end up becoming part of something with a sense of regret, wishing that you hadn't have bothered um, getting involved in it because it doesn't really achieve anything. And, and, and even worse, it's that kind of feeling where you've then got to defend yourself. It's not a major card. It's not an overly negative card. Um, but definitely when it comes out, I know, keep your opinions to yourself. Um, because it's it's one of those, you know, of course we should stand up for ourselves, but th this is kind of a time when all the arrows are getting shot at her and it's not a fruitful time. You know, there's a divine timing for absolutely everything. So this is one for choosing your battles wisely and standing your ground, don't make any rash decisions. And that's kind of still following on from the beginning of the week as well, wasn't it? With that feeling of discontentment with the Four of Cups. So... I am now going to pull one of Kyle Gray's cards. And look at that. There is a one of Radley's cards is just there. It must have slid off while I was shuffling. I didn't know. And it's the Two of Cups. That is a beautiful card. It's a card of harmony. So I feel if you don't get involved in these, what could be potential dramas, there's this harmonious energy coming in. Resolution of conflict. Forgiveness coming together. People meeting on a heart level, really caring and loving for one, e one of each other. This is a, one of the romance cards. This was on the floor. Um, so a positive resolution of a conflict, forgiveness, a relationship that continues to grow closer. That is what it says on the cards. Um, and again, it's cups. So what a beautiful card to, you know, just really lighten that message. Right. Kyle Gray, Angel Guide Oracle. What have we got to top off this reading the week ahead? Oh, no. <laughs> so again, this is adding on to the temptation of getting involved with things. This is a no, 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 no. Keep yourself to yourself. And also with the Four of Cup cards, it complements that as well when I was saying something might... It might not feel that tempting, but just wait because you're not quite seeing something um, as, as it could be. You're not seeing the potential in something right now. So that is the no card. I'm also seeing snake, snake medicine, which comes through a lot lately because we are all in this huge, rapid you know, the momentum of our spiritual growth right now as a collective, the momentum is huge. Things are happening fast. People are waking up everywhere. It's so beautiful. But of course, as people are dipping into their spirituality, we have a lot of layers of the onion to shed all of these false identities that we need to let go of because we realise that they are not us. Our personality is not the same as our soul. So the snake medicine comes in a lot to help us. It's connected to the element of fire, fire to cleanse, transmute energies. It's the um, it's alchemy, it's magic, it's transformational. 
So that magical snake energy is about the the momentum of the, the Kundalini rising, the sacred life force energies of the divine, masculine and feminine that flows within every single person. It's that marriage. So those energies are strong and in order to move, they need to release layers on every level and they are the chakra gates. So the first gate is the root chakra. And it's funny that Ariel came in with that and that is all the paradigm of fear and scarcity. So we're all we're all working on different things and it is that big clear out on, on every energetic level. So calling the snake medicine, learn to dance and flow with your own body, with your own rhythm. No one knows you more than you. And don't be afraid to let things go and open up to looking at things in a new way. So there you go. There is your little reading for the week ahead. I hope you are having a fabulous weekend so far. And don't forget to, if you enjoyed this video, to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And love you loads.